person good morning to you God don't need no matches he's fire for himself you didn't know that yeah as a young fellow they used to sing the song how it go God don't need no matches he's fire for himself God don't need no matches he's fire for himself on the day of Pentecost, a fire fall on us. On the day of Pentecost, his fire fell on us. Yeah, God don't need no matches. He's fire for himself. Uh, why do we think uh, from time to time that God needs our help? He doesn't need our help. Uh, it could be we think that God needs our help uh, because we think of God as if God is a man. Uh, but he's the creator, he's the sustainer. Uh, he's the all-time undisputed, undefeated champion of love. God don't need our help. Uh, he's, he's not man, he's his own mover and shaker. And we must put our trust and faith in God uh, because he is God, almighty, omnipotent. Yeah, that's God. You know, we trust doctor's word. Uh, we jump in an aircraft, we trust that the pilot is going to take us to the right place. We jump in our boats, uh, we trust that the outboard motor is going to take us from point A to point B, right? And we go about our happy way, but we don't want to trust God with our future. Please, again, I am saying that we must put our faith and trust in God. He is the one who guides us. Uh, listen, we get ourselves into trouble. When God chooses to reveal the future to us. Uh, because when we as frail human beings uh, know the future, it ignites an expectation in us. And because we know the future, because God has revealed the future, you know what happens? We now start putting ourselves in a position to help to bring about the future if we like what God has revealed to us. Uh, but you know, in trying sometimes, we leave so much collateral damage along the way that listen, when we look back, sometimes we say, uh, was it really worth it? Such was the case uh, with Rebecca. Uh, in, uh, uh, in Genesis uh, chapter 25 and verse 23, it says, and the Lord said, that is to Rebecca, two nations, are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated uh, from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. That was a big problem for Rebecca, you know. Yeah, big problem. Because in Genesis chapter uh, 27, you're going to notice, well, well, that's like a movie by itself, how uh, Rebecca tricked her husband and worked the thing in such a manner uh, that Isaac, who was blind, he gave the blessing uh, to the younger uh, uh, instead to, to the younger, right, was Esau and Jacob. He gave the blessing to Jacob instead of uh, to Esau. Why that happened so? It happened so because God revealed the future uh, to Rebekah. That's one of the reasons why I don't go to Obia people. They don't want to know the future. Uh, because when you know the future, uh, you, you try to do things in order uh, to bring about the future, especially if uh, you like how the future sounds. Now listen to this. My strong advice and counsel to you is that you must not burden your down yourself into knowing the future. Leave the future to God. And by the way, if you're in a situation and you, you realize that this is your last and you don't have any more future, well, still cry out to God and ask him for future. Uh, ask him for some more days because he is the one who can do it. Uh, so today, I am saying to you, God don't need no matches. He is fire for himself. And God doesn't need help from us. He's God all by himself. However, when he reveals the future, let us understand that we can trust him. For example, as I close, please understand that the future 
for somebody who has been sinning all the time and does not repent is hell's fire. However, the future for somebody who repents of their sin uh, is heaven and eternal life. So I am saying to you, listen, whoever you are, don't live in a dangerous manner hoping that your future is going to be good and you live anyhow. No, that's living dangerously. The better thing to do is to ask God to help you to live in a godly manner so that your future can be sure. Our God and Father, today somebody is listening and they are thinking that you, God, cannot help them with the future. Let that person know that when they make a decision to live a godly life, you, God, can help them along the way so that eternal life can be theirs. Guide us throughout the day, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. May God richly bless you. My Father is omnipotent and that you